You can literally force your bones to grow taller, even after 18. You don't believe me? Just look at arm wrestler Devin Larratt's arm length difference. This arm is longer. You see that? His trained arm is noticeably longer than the other. That, however, is not a coincidence. Now take a look at the Maasai tribe from Kenya. Some of the tallest people on earth live here, with males averaging six foot three inches and females around five foot 10 inches. They don't rely on quirky supplements or bone surgeries. Instead, they follow an optimized lifestyle that naturally aligns with Wolf's Law. A scientific principle discovered by Julius Wolf, it states that the bone of a healthy animal will adapt and reshape itself according to the mechanical stresses placed upon it. In simple terms, their bones grow stronger and longer based on how they live and move. By the end of this video, you'll know the exact blueprint the Maasai tribe uses to build towering heights naturally. I'll be revealing the most powerful method that can help you grow over two inches in no time. So make sure you don't skip the video. It's important to understand that height growth only occurs when our bones are exposed to the right kind of stimuli or stress. And this stress comes in two main forms, mechanical stress and hormonal stress. Both play a key role in triggering bone adaptation and growth, but only when applied correctly. Let's start with mechanical stress. Take a look at Devin Larratt's arm length difference. The arm he trains aggressively is noticeably longer than the other. But why? Repeated stress and adaptation. But how does that apply to growing taller? Micro fractures. When you apply the right kind of stress to your bones, they respond by growing longer and stronger. If your legs are constantly pushed to reach, stretch, and work under load, they have no choice but to adapt and grow. This is exactly where swimming and cycling come into play. Take a look at the Netherlands, home to some of the tallest people on earth. Over 70% of adults swim regularly, and more than 90% of the population owns a bike. And that's exactly why the Netherlands rank among the tallest globally. But here's what most people miss. This same mechanism is clearly seen in nature too. Take the giant anteater, for example. It has a tongue that stretches over two feet long, longer than its own skull, but it wasn't always this way. Over generations of repetitive reaching into anthills and termite mounds, the tongue faced constant tension and stress. The the tongue evolved to grow longer and stronger because that stress became a survival demand. Now apply that exact principle to vertical height growth. If you raise your cycle seat slightly higher than usual, your legs are forced to fully extend with every stroke. This places continuous mechanical stress on your femurs and tibias, leading to micro adaptations that stimulate lengthening over time. In swimming, the kicking motion combined with floating resistance creates a low impact stretch pull effect across the entire lower body. It activates your hips, knees, and ankles in a way that promotes natural elongation over time. But there's another method, one of the most powerful ways to expose your bones to mechanical stress, Maasai jumps. This is the exact reason why the Maasai tribe consistently grow to heights over six feet without ever riding bicycles or swimming regularly. People of Maasai are not just tall, but they're naturally long-legged. One of their core ancestral practices is the Adumu, AKA the Maasai jump, a high vertical jumping ritual performed with precision. These aren't random hops, each jump is explosive, shot straight upward, with the legs fully extended and feet pointed downward, creating intense repetitive stress on the lower leg bones, especially the tibia. That repeated stress forces the bone to stretch, adapt, and grow. This is what I call Wolf's Law in action. Even though mechanical stress alone can stimulate bone growth, without the hormonal stress, that growth won't be efficient or sustainable. That's why it's critical to optimize your hormones for height growth. These hormones don't just support bone growth, but they can literally reopen growth plates under the right conditions, leading to unexpected growth even in adults. Let's look at Adam Rayner, the only man in history recorded to be classified both a dwarf and a giant. Born in 1899, he stood just four feet tall at age 21, but by his 40s, he hit a shocking seven feet eight inches. But what triggered this insane growth? A brain tumor in his pituitary gland caused his body to over-secrete human growth hormone, which massively accelerated bone growth, thickened his facial structure, and even increased muscle mass. It was also recorded that his growth plates hadn't fully closed, even in adulthood, and the flood of hormones reactivated them, triggering a massive growth spurt. Luckily for you, you don't have to get a brain tumor to produce more growth hormone. You can easily increase hormonal stress in your body and get similar results, starting with deep restorative sleep. Because growth hormone is primarily secreted during deep sleep cycles, especially during stage three non-REM sleep. If you're sleep deprived or relying on shallow sleep, you probably have low levels of growth hormones in your body. To enter stage three, non-REM sleep, you need to fix your circadian rhythm. This is one of the most ignored topic in the mainstream.
stream. The Maasai tribe lives in complete sync with the sun. They wake up at dawn, do most of their physical labor during the day, and sleep soon after sunset, without any exposure to artificial lights or screens. And that's exactly why they're able to grow to towering heights naturally. To reset your circadian rhythm, start waking up at sunrise and sleeping right after sunset. Wear blue light blocking glasses after sunset and avoid smartphones or any screens to protect your melatonin levels. Do this consistently for a few days and you'll align your body with the sun, boosting growth hormone secretion and naturally supporting your height growth. Now you might have the best sleep in the world, but if your body lacks essential raw materials, your bones probably might never grow. Bones require complete protein, collagen, and key minerals to recover and grow. Look at the Maasai again. Their traditional diet is rich in raw dairy, red meat, and even raw blood, all loaded with essential amino acids, collagen, and minerals, helping them grow taller and stronger. Now, even if you aren't from a tribe in Kenya, you can still replicate their diet in your modern lifestyle. Start consuming more raw dairy, grass-fed meat, and pasture-raised eggs. All of these are easily accessible today, but make sure you're getting at least 120 grams of high-quality animal-based protein daily. Doing this regularly will ensure your pituitary gland functions optimally, potentially triggering a growth spurt even after puberty. Now let me reveal one of the most powerful methods you can use to trigger massive growth throughout your entire body. This method is so effective that you should only do it three to four times a week. Doing it daily can lead to overtraining due to the micro fractures caused by this intense physical stress. Here's how to do it. Start with a heavy meal loaded with protein and carbohydrates. Wait about two hours for proper digestion. Then head to the biggest open space or playground around you. Once there, begin by sprinting at max speed for 15 seconds, followed by three minutes of rest. Repeat this for four total sets. This high intensity sprinting loads your bones vertically and sends a signal for adaptation. Right after finishing your sprint, consume a lot of ripened citrus fruits. Most recommended are wild berries, pineapple, and oranges. Aim for at least 150 milligrams of vitamin C from these fruits. This boosts collagen synthesis and supports bone remodeling. This protocol raises IGF-1 levels in your body, a key hormone responsible for tissue repair and growth. Combined with vitamin C, it accelerates collagen production, which is essential for your bones, joints, and connective tissue. Do this consistently, and your body will be forced to adapt, triggering growth even beyond on puberty and so-called genetic limits. Now, if you're serious about maximizing your height, I've got something special for you. Check the pinned comment for the next step on your height growth journey.